This extreme bearishness, what do you make of it? And, and where can we find a floor? It's extreme, absolutely. So when we look at just the sentiment, it's really weighing on the market. And I think people were expecting too much from the recovery. And we had that sort of revenge rally, then the pause in February, and now it's kind of just spluttering along. I think we need to reset expectations. The recovery in China isn't going to be like 2003, 2009, 2016. And that's simply because China's growth model and the emphasis on growth has indeed changed. I have to wonder, you know, what we were just talking about, Kendra Law from Goldman Sachs, he, he basically said, look, they're hard pressed to really, you know, drop this whole constructive view on China because you're taking a look at valuations. They're not close to the cycle lows yet. Yeah. There's just so much extreme bearishness. You know, is there actually a risk that investors might be missing out on what could be a really big market rebound in the second half. Well, that's a contrarian view. And, yeah. then, and you know, from a stock perspective, when you look at the strong brands and the strong companies, they're expected to do well. Even when you look at those the SOE reform in March and the re-evaluation or the valuation mix with the uh, set on enterprises, it's really positive news. And in fact, you know, the balance sheet of the government, they can add stimulus, you know, tweaking uh, sort of, so to speak, both fiscally as well as monetary. I think maybe that property lag is still weighing on investors. And mm -hmm. again, when you look at the property cycle, it's different in terms of the recovery because we've seen more set on enterprises in terms of land sales at 70% versus 30%. Historically, the private developers would just rush with their starts. They would use the funding from the pre-sales, project after project, and set on enterprises don't behave that way. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, again, resetting expectations and really understanding the policy drive, which I think we need to be really cognizant of. Do you think what we're seeing is just a bad point in the cycle, or is this something of a structural shift? away from China because I look at beyond the mainland and I see a lot of good stories in Japan, India, mm, Korea, Taiwan. Yeah. You know, is this a real allocation away from China, you think? I don't think you can not be allocated to China, especially when you look at China's position on the global stage, both economically and politically. So I think actually this provides a good entry point or opportunity to increase your exposure to really, really, you know, in terms of a well-run, well-managed businesses in China.